Hello everyone and welcome to another awesome and cool tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to exchange a product for another product. So that's for the customers. If they didn't like their product, they can easily exchange it for another product or replace their product with the same product if it's damaged or broken or doesn't work and a variety of other reasons. Okay, so let's jump in without wasting any further time. So the first thing you'd want to do is you want to make sure you log in to your Aftership Returns Center admin and go to Returns Settings. So go ahead and click on Return Settings. And once you click on it, you come up here to the Return Setting page. Now click the Exchange for Other Items checkbox, which is under the Exchange Resolution section. So go ahead and tick the bottom one as well. So you have both of them on. Great. Just make sure your Shopify store is connected with the Automize the Shopping app before you do this. So just make sure that it's connected. Otherwise, this won't take effect. And then once you're done, click on Save. Perfect. Now go ahead and click on the Settings button. Awesome. Now, as you can see, the status is disabled. So go ahead and enable that. Excellent. So this portion is about extra credit. Generally, as store owners, you would want to make sure your customer never refunds. You want to make sure they leave off happily and keep their money in your business. So this portion allows you to offer your customers extra credit so they can exchange their products for a different product instead of a refund. So the credit value is in US dollars. So let's choose fixed amount. You can choose a percentage off as well, but let's choose a fixed amount for this tutorial. And let's put in, you can put whatever you want, 10, 20, 30, 40 shipping rates. So for now, we only do free shipping when they exchange. But later on, shortly and soon, we'll pull out more options of custom rates for shipping. Uh, so just make sure you click on save when you're done and you're good to go. Now let's go ahead and check out how a shopper can submit a return request. So we'll give them two options and that depends on what option your customer chooses to go with. Number one, the customer pays an additional amount at checkout. And number two, the customer gets a refund. So let's go with the scenario one. The customer pays an additional amount at checkout. So I'll put in my order number. So that's my order number and my email. And I'm going to click on find your order. Perfect. Now I've got four different items that I've purchased. And I, as a customer, I need to select which products I want exchanged. So I'm going to select the first one, the shoulder messenger bag. And I'm going to click on seven. So I want to return all seven of them. And then why do you want to return? It doesn't really matter what they choose. So I'm just going to pick the first one. Looks different to the image on site. I'm also going to return the second one, the cartoon plush messenger. I've bought seven of them and I'm going to return all seven. And for this one, I'll choose poor quality or faulty. And finally, I'm also going to return the frog earrings. And I've bought six of them, so I'm going to click on all six. And for this one, I'll choose the reason doesn't suit me, not my style. And then I'm going to click on next. So next up, how do we resolve it? Uh, go ahead and click on exchange for other items or refund directly. They also have the option to resolve it by replacing it with the same item. And that's in case the product is damaged, broken, doesn't work, or is faulty. So the customer will click on that one and stuff like that. But in this case, we want to exchange it. So let's click on exchange or refund. Excellent. So it'll tell us that we can exchange for other items with 712 Hong Kong dollars of credit with an extra $10 included. So they'll be given two options, refund me directly or discover more. So now, since this is an exchange, the customer will click on discover more. So let's click on it. Awesome. And here's the list of items the customer can exchange their items with. So go ahead and select from the given list. I'm going to click on this, shoes for woman. 
And I'm going to pick a different color. And I'll pick the size and quantity. I'll choose five. And then I'll click on select item. And the next step, I'll click on this dress. This looks nice. I'll choose the size. I'll choose large. And quantity, I'll choose three. And then I'll click on select item. I'm also going to click on this bag and I'll choose a pink one. And quantity, I'll choose five. And then I'll click select item. Now let's go ahead and click on the cart to preview what we have. The customer can verify the products they have in the cart to make sure that's what they're exchanging their previous items with. And then they're going to have to click on next. So they'll be given two options when it comes to how will you send the items back. First, we've got green returns. In this case, they keep the items without shipping it back. So it's more like a gift. And the second option is shipping it with the carrier of their choice. Let's go ahead and click on the second option and click next. Perfect. So now the customer can review the items. The return items are at the top and the exchange items are at the bottom. So since the customer ended up buying more, they're going to have to pay an additional 107 Hong Kong dollars. So that means you get more money. So now the customer has to click on pay and submit. A pop-up will appear telling them if they're ready to be directed to Shopify payments. They're going to click on continue. Perfect. And now as you can see, you've got the items that the customer will get along with their quantity, labels, picture, and price. You've also got the exchange tag right here and the total they have to pay. And finally, the customer needs to enter their credit card details to successfully place the order. Also, your customers have to put the correct billing address, otherwise it just simply won't work. And then they're gonna have to click on pay now. And there you go, the order has been placed. Let's go back. And I guess you just have to kinda wait and there you go. The submit return has been requested successfully. Now let's go ahead and click on view return request. So once the payment is done, the customer can go back to the returns page and check out the return request generated. Let's click on view 20 return items. And here's all the information with your previous items along with the exchange items. You've also got the resolution returns method, and the summary of the return. The amount your customer paid, which is 107 Hong Kong dollars. Now, on the other hand, as a Shopify store owner or the merchant can find the return request order automatically generated on their Shopify admin page. So if you click on all orders under orders, the return request will be generated automatically. And in this case, it's the first one. Let's go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, it has all the items the customer chose, the amount the customer paid, the timeline, and all of that stuff. Okay, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and check out the second option, which was the customer receiving a refund. So now as a customer, I'll put in my order number my email, and I'll click on find your order. So these are the items I've purchased as a customer. So let's say I want to return this, the championship ring. I'm going to have to choose the quantity and then a reason, which would be, say, poor quality or faulty. Let's also choose this messenger bag as well. And let's go ahead and choose the quantity which is one, and I'll just choose doesn't suit me, and then click on next. Let's click on exchange or refund. They can either directly just refund all that money, but in our case, let's click on discover more. Awesome. So these are the products that they can exchange it with. 
Let's go ahead and choose this dress. And let's click on select item. And that's pretty much all I want as a customer. Now let's go ahead and click on cart. And as you can see, we have 49 Hong Kong dollars as the remaining credit. And that's what we want refunded. So click on next. Same two options. I'll click on the second one, which is ship with the carrier of my choice and then click on next. And as you can see, we've got the return items and the exchange items. So now the final total amount to be refunded is 39 Hong Kong dollars because of the shipping charges. And they get two options, refund to store credit or refund to original payment method. And then finally, the customer needs to click on submit. And there you have it. The submit return has been requested successfully. Let's go back to the returns page and view our two items. And there you go. All the details of the return of their exchange request is available on their fingertips. And that's a wrap of another awesome tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back to check out more of our videos on our channel. So try this now and let us know how it goes. Stay tuned for more and good luck and take care.